In this video session, we are going to learn about the working of photoelectric sensor. As you can see in my hand, this is a photoelectric sensor by the company Lewins Electronics and its operating voltage is 10 to 30 volt, which is embedded on the sensor. Now on the right hand, you can see some four wires. Now these four wires are the standardized wires and these four wires indicate that this is a universal sensor. Now what does universal sensor mean? It means it can give two outputs of PNP and NPN. Now if you see closely, this blue wire is given 0 volt, this brown wire is given 24 volt. Now these are the operating voltage which will turn on the sensor. Now these two wires are the output wires. When the sensor detects any object, this black wire will give 24 output which means it gives PNP output. And this white wire will give 0 output which means it gives NPN output. Now I'm going to connect the sensor with the power supply and uh, indicator to indicate the presence of any object. Now I have wired up the sensor. You can see here I have connected the brown wire to the 24 volt, the blue wire to the 0 volt. Now this light indicates that sensor is on. Now when I put some object in front of the sensor, you will see an orange LED is on. This indicates the presence of object. Now the principle behind this is we have an emitter, this is an emitter and this is a receiver. This emitter, emitter is emitting a light at certain frequency and this light when it gets on the object it reflected back to the receiver. Now this re receiver when receives the same light of the same polarity it, it detects the object. It gives an indication that the object is present. So this indication is given by orange light and these all these indication is also coming on these wires. For example, now, now the object is in the range of the sensor. Now when I check the voltage at the black wire, it comes out to be 23.4 volt, which indicates that object is present. When I remove the object, now there is no voltage. Now when it is on the object, the voltage is coming. Similarly, on the white wire, the voltage is 0 volt. We are getting 0 volt on the wire when, when the object is present. And that is also indicated by the multimeter. Now in case when there is no object, we are not having any voltage. When the object is present, we are having the potential. Now we can use this potential, you can use, we can use this voltage to actuate any actuator or we can use it in, in PLCs or in controllers to control and to control the process or whatever applications we want. So in next video, in next session, I'm going to connect this sensor to some indicators to indicate the presence of object and which, which can be indicated by these indicators. Now you can see here, I have connected the wires of, output wires of the sensor to the indicators. The black wire is connected to this indicator. Now from this, we are getting 24 voltage and zero voltage is provided from the power supply. And this indicator, the white wire is connected which is giving 0 volt and the 24 volt is provided from the power supply. Now what happens when objectives comes in the sensor range, these two indicators are on. So this is how we can use the indicators to indicate the presence and absence of object. Now object is present, the lighters are on, indicators are on, and the object is not present, these are off. So that's how we can use the photoelectric sensor to, de to detect the object. Now at this position, this is my minimum range. You can see it's hardly about 15 millimeters. Now beyond this range, it won't detect any object. As you can see here, now when I bring, when I take the object at back, it won't, it is not detected. Now to increase this range, we have to vary its range by rotating this screw. Now I'm doing this to the maximum range. At this position, you can see here, I'm increasing the distance. And in that case, the sensor is on. So from this position, I have to go back to this position. So we can also adjust to at this position also by varying the screws over there. So that's how we can vary the range according to our requirement. So this is all about photoelectric sensor. In the next video session, we can learn more about, about other different sensors.